Russ Maneev, everybody. Russ! <laughs> How you going, guys? Good moves tonight? Yeah. Good moves? All right. Well, the Yankees got A-Rod, huh? Well, let's hear for that, everybody, huh? So, the Yankees are out of control, aren't they? I picture Steinbrenner getting up there. Okay, we well, announce our latest acquisitions. We got uh, Alex Rodriguez, Clark Kent, Zeus, all of the X-Men, <laughs> Predator 1 and 2, and five fetuses were growing from Ted Williams' frozen DNA. Oh, we got Saddam, right? It's good, right? He was looking good, wasn't he? I thought they pulled Santa out of a crack house. <laughs> But they want to make a statement of surrender back to Iraq. Imagine the American influence on that statement. We'll probably like product placement in there because such capitalist pigs. People of Iraq, surrender your arms. I've been captured. The country is in fire and ruin, but there is some positive news. Thanks to Geico, I'm getting a huge break on my car insurance. <laughs> if the people I killed and tortured, it's okay because I had Subway, so don't worry about that either, yes. <laughs> but it's hard watching that President Bush speak, isn't it? Especially when he's trying to read up the teleprompter and insert the appropriate facial expression into each line. He seems trying to balance that. He said, the people of Iraq are free. <laughs> but I don't like to argue about religion, you know, it's a religious war. So if I'm with a girl in bed of another religion, I'll yell out her God's name because I don't want any trouble. But I was with this African girl, I didn't know what it was, so I tried to wing it. I was like, oh, oh, and I grabbed her cat. I was like, da, Sabina, yabari, yabara. Rich in you, in you. <laughs> I'm currently sponsoring a young African child right now. His name's Adobo. And you know for 30 cents a day, little Adobo gets medical attention and food and shelter. Money goes a long way down there. And the first picture I got of little Adobo, he was laying in his own urine with flies all over him, and I panicked. So I doubled it to 60 cents. I got a picture back today. He was in a hot tub with bitches. <laughs> Big ice down rice bowl around his neck. He was rapping. He's like, yo, my rice cakes bring all the girls to the yard. <laughs> so Mad Cow disease is back. Worried about that? What a great technical sounding name for a disease, huh? All these diseases with scientific names like multiple sclerosis, malignant melanoma, mad cow disease. That's like calling anorexia nervosa. Crazy bony bitch don't want to eat. Because <laughs> she thinks she's fat disease. I'm Italian myself. I love to eat, huh? You guys like to eat or what? I'll tell you. I love it. But I'll tell you, I, I hang out with these, my, my Italian friends. Italian guys in here? Italian, Italian guys do the most evil stuff in the world if they're so religious. I'm driving my friend in the car. He's like, hey, Rush, check this out. Last night, me and Nikki, we always hookers and cocaine. Oh, hold on a minute. We're passing a church. Let me just get that right there. <laughs> Plus, he has one of those next hell walkie-talkie phones. How annoying are those things, right? <laughs> What's up, dude? You know, it's never an intellect on that phone. You never hear... <laughs> That's right, doctor. You make the incision below the left cerebral cortex. No, it's always, hey, dude, I heard you nailed that chick with the fat ass last night. <laughs> so, plus he likes Eminem, too. You guys like him or what? Yeah, it's just a mother, it's just a mother on, on the news ranting about the lyrics, how it's affecting the kids. You know what? Forget these kids. Because nobody came to my rescue when cartoons were ruining my life. I was so afraid of a bully, I ate 10 cans of spinach before school one day. <laughs> You know what it's like being beaten with about five pounds of green Montezuma's revenge flying out of your ass? Ruin my sailor suit. <laughs> Plus I had a weird family, you know? There's always an uncle that's crazy in the family. He's come to the house when I was a kid. He used to grab me by my wrists, beat me with my own hands, would sarcastically ask me why I was hitting myself. <laughs> Here's the weird part. He's a really old guy now, so guess who gets to play the same game with him, huh? <laughs> but I want to have a family, you know? I gotta fall in love first. I didn't have a Valentine's this year. My buddy had two. Everybody had that one friend that has a, has a Valentine's Day gift for their mother. Doesn't that freak you out a little bit? I was like, dude, two gifts? She's like, yeah, one's for my mom. Oh, great. Look, I don't know how to break this to you, but uh, I heard she's banging your dad, so. <laughs> That's all my time, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Take care. Just leave, everybody. Check them out at Caroline's all next week. We'll be right back with John Andrasic and Five for Fighting. Oh, you're right.